this is a program that I really wanted to share because inclusive didn't mean just persons with disability, it meant everyone. And here the seniors came along with us. This is Shamira, she's 74, and Dexter, 81. And they worked with them to create this uh, program called Body in Motion, Creative Movement for Seniors by Seniors together with dance from DADC. It's powered by Absara Asia as well as Oscar Tomase Foundation. Um, it started off because we were all stuck at home, right, during COVID period. What did we do? We couldn't get to meet each other. We were already facing the isolation and they were facing it largely. So when came a point of discussion, like who else could be going through this uh, isolation, this loneliness, and they identified and said, maybe seniors, you know, older people are feeling dissociated because they cannot communicate with us, they cannot connect with us. And so we then gathered their thoughts and came up with this idea to create a digital movement program that which we could send to different nursing homes as well as for our disability homes to uh, for them to actually use it in their respite time for the staff to follow us. Uh, so this is accessible from Maya Dance Data's website. If you just go to our website and click on Body in Motion, you can move along with us. We were pleasantly surprised to hear lately that some uh, parents actually got their children to move with their grandparents when they were at home together. So it has gone on a different track from the first idea of doing it for people who are in nursing homes. Coming forward, it started with this idea in 2011 when Esplanade approached us to do some movement workshops for uh, the uh, seniors and then we got this idea to move forward. Next one. So just a clip of how we started. We invited some seniors to just move with us and then we realized there is interest and then we then invited them to co-create the movement series with us. The next slide. So these are the uh, seniors who joined us. So we had some of the uh, musicians who scored original music for us. If you go to the website, you can get experience of this as well. So these are just some moments and we went to Yongan Care Center to also facilitate. We've also done online series uh, with the seniors here. Yeah? So this is the information, moving on. Uh, this is something that which June is here really to show us, right? Um, this is Samila has arrived, a digital production by DADC. We created it with uh, Judith and Jeremy as a script writers and storytellers. And it's a dig digital production that's going on now. So a little bit of the video. So this is on till the 31st of December. It's online. You can actually go and get your tickets from Cystic to watch this performance. Just a snippet of it. It's okay. Judith came up with this story when we were in isolation. So when we went to get it in online, she came and she said, okay, look, I went to the buy sentinel and I'm tired of just talking and asking how are you today because I never get to go out. I never even got to go to the supermarket. So let's talk about something that excited me, which is Samila and Tama's story. So she created the story online. And then we decided, okay, let's take this story and make it into a digital production. So most of the time, the ideas do come from our partners who are in DADC with us. This is inclusive idea concept for us. Yes, just from the very start to think about, they exist in the space together with us. And so they will have a voice in whatever decisions we want to make together. Yeah, a little clip of this video. I'm going to show you all just to give you an idea of how multimedia worked in the space. How they negotiated with two children performers. Now there are two child, children performers who are performing together with us. And that's June. And we have professionals at the work as well. Yeah? Who's going to June? Can we take this time to show them the movement? But before that, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. My name is Jimmy. I'm from BBC Doctors. I can show you how to. First of all, I can start with all. Yeah. So June is going to give us a little sample of the video that you just saw. Her waves movement. This is not.
choreographed, she created it herself. Yeah. And why you can wonder why there's a pink color uh, wave. June, why do we have a pink wave? This is my favorite color. Uh, her favorite color. <laughs> Alright, so it's fine. We can have a pink wave, right? So we have a blue, the actual, and the pink that is June's favorite choice. Alright, we can play the music. So just do a little bit of music. June is just going to move for us. And this music is uh, composed by Raga, a musician. Plot is actually. Thank you. 